Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. This lab is just recently updated so it is an updated solution for this lab. And in this video I am going to show you the simplest way to complete this lab. So first of all just may log in with your credentials and once you're done with that, just may come back over here and now here just may search for the VM instance. Just may click over here, wait for a second now. Now for completing this lab we need another software. So if you are using a Windows machine then you need a RDB and if you are using a Mac so then you can just may use this software name called Microsoft Remote Desktop. You can download this software from the App Store. Now basically what you do, you have to come back over here and click on this RDP over here. Then click on this download this file. Then this file will download to your local system. Just me open the file over here like this way. Just me come back to the finder and double click over here like this way and it will open. Then it will ask username. Sometime it will ask or sometime it will automatically given over here. Now it's asking for the password. Now what you do, just me come back over here, click on this down arrow over here and click on this set password over here like this way. Wait for a second now. Now here you can see username. Now those who are using a RDP, if you just may use a RDP over here like this way, you will get this kind of page. Once you open this RDP, you will get this. Okay, now here you need an external IP. So at that time, you can just may use this external IP over here. Let me just may show you that. You can just may use that. And once you're done with that, then click on this connect over here. Once you click on the connect, then you will get the output like username and password. Now for this username, what you do, you have to just may click over here, then click on this set Windows password like this way. Once you click over here, then you will get a username. You can just may copy that and paste over here. Now for the password, just may click on the set password over here like this way. Wait for a second. And then you will get this kind of password. Now copy this password and just me paste over here. And if you are using a Mac, so you can just me paste the password over here like this way. Then click on this continue. And if you are using a Windows machine, so again just me click on this OK. Then you will get this kind of page. Now again just me click on this yes and allow all the permission is asking. Once you do that, then it will connect to your RDP. Okay, now for the Mac user, you have to do the same thing. First of all, you have to just paste the password and then click on this continue over here. Wait for a couple of seconds now and then click on this connect like this way. Wait for a second. And it's finally connected. Now what you do, first of all, if it's asking for something, you can just click on this yes and all. Okay, so it's done. Now just click on this cross over here like this way. So it's finally done. Now just may click on the search button over here like this way and now here just may search for the command prompt. You can see this one. Now just may open this thing as a run as the administrator. If you do not do this then you will get an error while running a command. So make sure that you have to open this as a run as an administrator. Just may click over here. It will take a couple of seconds. Click on this yes over here and it's done. Now in the description box of this video I will share all this command. So just may copy all this command like this way come back over here, paste and hit enter like this way. And now if you are not able to paste the command over here, no need to worry. You can see this little icon, just me click over here and then click on this edit button and then click on this paste. And in this way, you can also paste the command. Now you have to just wait for this command get execute and once it's done, you are done with this lab. So just me wait for a couple of seconds and after that we will come back to the lab instructions and if you just scroll down over here and click on this check my progress of the task number three, we will get a score without any issue. Now just me wait for a couple of seconds
and it's finally done now if you just me come back to the lab instructions and click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue and if the score is not updated for this particular task no need to worry just simply wait for a couple of seconds and you will get a full score on this lab without any issue and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please do let me in the comment section i hope you guys like the way i solve this lab if you do please give one thumbs up and comment down below is this helpful for you or not thanks for watching and have a good day guys